Hello everyone, this is Monique from Butterbee Scraps. I just wanted to show you that a page I created for a swap that I joined over at Life on the Scrap Beach. It's hosted by Crystal Booth and you could actually choose from a couple of paper lines and I chose the Bow Bunny Timepiece collection and the theme was the Vintage Grunge Time Capsule. So uh, I made mine look quite, quite grungy. Um, she had a few guidelines for this swap. The page size was to be 6x6 six six, and the page was to be created using medium weight chipboard. Uh, she asked that the page have a decorative edge so I used the new Tim Holtz on the edge die here. I believe it's called Steampunk with the gears. So actually this die really takes up a lot of real estate so I cheated a little bit on the page size. I actually made mine six by six and three quarters, but it looks quite square because of all the blank space over here. And you know what, these gears really don't stick out that far, only about a half inch, so. Um, other guidelines included, um, we were to use two embellishments on each side of our page to include a pocket and a tag and also to include one handmade item either on the front or the back. I've actually included a few here. So um, I chose the stripes paper. So I used that as a background on the front of my page and on the back side I used the opposite side of the paper. Um, I chose another paper just to create this pocket. It's an angle pocket and I know it's hard to see because I have so much on top of it but um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out regardless. So this is one of my handmade items, the crocheted flower. And if you watch some of my other videos, I'm sure you've seen lots of these. So yeah, I crocheted this myself and I used a chenille type yarn. I just love how nice and soft it is. Created a few tears in the edges of the pocket here. Like I said, I really wanted to grunge this up. So. Um, these are actually fabric leaves and I used the Tim Holtz tattled, Tattered Florals die to cut those and then I just added some stickles um, to show the veins and I wasn't too worried about um, having perfect lines either. Um, I am a perfectionist however when it comes to scrapbooking because I like their really grungy look the more imperfect things are the more I like them so I just go with it. I actually love it love being able to let go of that part. So I've also got some tulle here, feathers, these here are little I Am Roses flowers and what I did is I first sprayed them with some antique linen reinker mixed with water and then I sprayed them with a gold, the gold perfect pearls mist and then I just took the aged mahogany ink pad and rubbed it along the edge of the petals. I thought that color went perfectly with this paper line. Of course I got a little Tim Holtz tag here and I cut this leaf out of also out of the Tim Holtz tattered leaves die and I embossed it using one of the, one of the new um, I think that one's called Steampunk as well the new embossing folder by Tim Holtz. Um, if you've seen other albums you know I'm into the wire work so I included this wire work around the flower. This clock here is actually, I just printed it off the internet and then what I did was I inked it, put some crack, um, what's it called? Crackle accents I believe. Yeah, crackle accents. And then of course used the Tim Holtz clock with a gear and a couple of game spinners there. I've then included a few tags here. This here is Oh geez, I think this is um, Basic Grey Staples, I believe. I'm sorry, I can't really remember. And it's just a little envelope here. So you could stick a tag or whatever in there. I didn't put anything in there. I'll just leave it to the person who's receiving it. So I've got a little hinge clip. And um, this is, I believe, a Seven Gypsies little key. I also created this tag stamp the back for a little journaling spot. This is a Tim Holtz stamp. You'll, you'll notice that I use a lot of Tim Holtz products. And 
To make these extra grungy, what I did was I used a three-step process for this. If I want things to look really messy, I just grab the ink pad and rub it along the edges. And I used some aged mahogany, and then I went over it with vintage photo, and then did uh, black soot on the edges. And these little gears, this is the Sprightly Sprockets from Spellbinders. So I cut these out of just lightweight chipboard, colored them with my copper leafing pen, and then I put, I just used my embossing ink pad to go around the edges, kind of like I would on a tag. And then I used the um, Black Soot Distress embossing powder for that. So there's a little washer and a brad there as well. And then I created this acrylic tag. Um, what I did was I used the alcohol inks. I used cranberry, um, espresso, and then the gold mixative as the background. And then I stamped, I think this is a graphic 45 stamp, and I stamped it twice here. And this is one of the Tim Holtz Flourish stamps. What's it called? Yeah, Flourish 1 is what it's called from Tim Holtz. So I embossed that with gold, and then again, I don't know if you can tell, I used the um, embossing ink pad, went around the edges, and did more black soot just to give it a real dirty, grungy feel. And then if you turn the page over, my original design for this was absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I redesigned it because it would have taken me forever and a day to finish it. So what I did was this is uh, the Tim Holtz Baroque die and I of course used the movers and shapers, the mini Baroque inside. Uh, but underneath I glued on, this is one of the new glass, glassine envelopes, the ATC size by Tim Holtz. This frame, you can put something, a picture underneath. Um, this is another one of my handmade crocheted flowers along with a handmade um, stick pin. These all are IM Roses flowers and I treated them in a similar way as the two on the front. I just use vintage photo on these as opposed to the aged mahogany. Um, I just spritzed this lace again with antique linen because it was bright white and I wanted to tone it down a bit. Of course feathers, I've got this little key from Tim Holtz and I hung this chain off the side here. So if you pull this out, there's a little tag in there and I've got all my info clipped on there. And I didn't really do much to this other than distress it and add a little tag pole to it. So yeah, that is my page. I hope everyone likes it. Um, I'm sure the ladies in my group will and I'm really excited to see what other people come up with. So uh, thanks for watching everyone and hope you have a good night.